I feel like that, uh, look, this is a dark day uh, to have to uh, put off 46 deputy sheriffs. Um, but I'm going to live within bounds. I'm going to balance the budget. I think it's a good thing that we are looking to consolidate the jails, streamline that. Uh, I'm, I knew the law was on my side to do it. The uh, presiding judge has uh, approved the plan to consolidate because with the loss of 46 personnel, just can't safely operate uh, two jails. My view is to have a patrol deputy and a detective that's in the community. We are not shrinking any of our law enforcement services. We are simply cons uh, consolidating the jail where they spend the night. Is the bailiffs, if, we need, if they need extra security in a courtroom, we have been there in the past. We will always be there in the future for them. The confusing thing to the public is this. The, the, the county commission has had security guards working the security checkpoints. And uh, I pitched in, I think about three weeks ago, and uh, I said, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to keep the courthouse open. So like what Anne Marie Adams has done to pay the, to pay the uh, uh, actually put up money to bring security guards back. I actually put my deputies working the security checkpoints in five courthouses. What I said, was, and I gave them as much notice as I could after I reviewed the $10 million uh, short uh, appropriation that I'm $10 million light, I notified uh, the commission that I said, I've got to have these deputy sheriffs back at work. But basically, they're going to form the, uh, the bulk of the transportation detail back and forth to Bessemer. No sour grapes there, it, yeah. but this, it's a responsibility that Anne Marie Adams is helping right now to bring security guards back. I didn't give money, but I gave personnel for the last uh, three or four. Okay, let's, well, let's talk to uh, Sheriff Hale. It seems like he's, do you think he's more of a team player today, accepting the budget, making the cuts? Well, I uh, have heard uh, nothing from him since our meeting last week, so I assume he's working with the budget. And I wish that everybody would quit referring to this as a cut. Every year, we adopt a budget. That budget is based on the revenues that we project we will receive. There's no guarantee for anybody. We didn't cut his budget. We had to come up with a reduced annual budget from last year because we will not be receiving the same amount of revenue. And so it's not a cutting his budget. It is a funding of his budget that we can afford. 